Flight delay. We've had a little bit of technical difficulties today with the downward facing cameras and whatnot. I'm just waiting for it to all kick in so I can see your comments. So how are you doing today? Um, bit of a change. I know you're used to seeing the beautiful backdrop but with Kitty's beautiful face instead of mine. So I'm with you this morning and I'm going to be making some gorgeous chainmail bracelets. Now we've done this design before but we've not used these gorgeous sizes of your jump rings and these colours um, so they're very very lovely give me a little bit of hello just so I know that you're here and you're watching because everything's very different for me today and um, Elaine says yay morning Natalie thank you Elaine now I know that I'm on and I'm doing okay um, so as I say we've got gorgeous gorgeous colours for you today in your kit, you're gonna be able to make two bracelets and there's two colors in each. So let me quickly say hello and hopefully I've not missed anything. I may not put your comment on the screen in case I clicked the wrong button, but good morning to Camille and Angela and Linda and Nina. Hello to Tina and Elaine and Sharon and Celia. And Janice says, it's great to see you, Natalie. Well, it's lovely to be here. Um, we've had a very fun filled afternoon yesterday and I got to uh, join into Bead Club. If you're not in Bead Club, get in Bead Club. It's amazing. First time in a long time actually that I've been able to not just read your gorgeous comments but actually be able to see your faces and hear your voices and we had a lovely chat about accents. Um, so yeah, it was very personal, very intimate and very, very lovely. So good morning to Frances. She says good morning everyone from a sunny Perth. It is not sunny here today in Clacton. It's quite overcast. Um, but we, we will see. I'm going down to the warehouse as soon as I finish this to get some more gorgeous goodies together. Um, so hopefully it won't be too cold out. Um, Angela says, hope you come up with some beautiful pieces. Uh, we know you will. Well, hopefully. Right. Please bear with me. I am going to try and I think I'm going to take you onto the website if I can first. And I will show you them there before I bring you back in and show you down on the mat. So if it all goes a little bit array, um, I say I will call Kitty, but please bear with me because her setup is very different from mine. Uh, good morning to Joanne. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. A bit overcast in Midlands. Hope everyone is having a great day. Right, okay. So if all being well, oh, this seems to do it really straightforward so here is our gorgeous website totallybeads.co.uk click in the video tutorial section like this this hello <laughs> okay wait 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 hmm now i'm sharing the live but why can't i show you it is a setup from Heaven Ruth. It's app. There we go. It's beautiful. Right. Okay. Here, if I can show you, is our beautiful Clio chainmail bracelets today. Now, there are five different colorways, but in each kit, you get two gorgeous colors. And there's an amazing discount on these today. And I don't know if this discount is only going to last the weekend. So if you want them, get them now. So they were an amazing, amazing price already. And now they've dropped again. I think that's 15% off. So for the beautiful champagne colorway, you are getting all of these goodies for just £8.84. So in your kit, will it work? Can I show you? Uh, you are getting your split rings, which are size six millimeter. You're getting your jump rings, which are a 10 millimeter, so they're larger. You're getting your magnetic clasps. So you'll have two of those in there to make up two bracelets. And you're also gonna get your Toho size three seed beads in two different colors. So you can do a mix and match one, or if you like, you can just do one of each. So the colors in this one, you're going to get this beautiful, beautiful one here. It's um, like a metallic kind of rainbowy color. And you're also going to get your silver lined um, like topaz. They're kind of like a goldy color as well. So they're absolutely beautiful. 
So this is your first colourway and they're going to be on your champagne findings. Can I click back? Yes, I can. Uh, you've also got your gold colourway and these are gorgeous as well. So again, you're getting all the same sizes in terms of your split rings and your jump rings and your clasps, which are magnetic and lovely. This colourway is only £7.57. And in this colourway, look at these colours. Can I click on this one? Look at them. It might be a little bit better to show you that way, mightn't it? And you can see the colours in there. So you're going to get in this one, you're going to get these gorgeous smoky coloured ones. And you're also going to get these hyacinth, which are a very beautiful, gorgeous kind of orangey colour. So that is your gold colourway for you today. For the rhodium, they're all absolutely beautiful. I do think I'm going to make one up today as a sample and do a little bit of a, a mixy match one for you, just so you can see the gorgeous colours. So again, six millimetre jump ring, uh, split rings and your 10 millimetre jump rings. And in there, you're getting those beauties. So you're getting these gorgeous green iris ones, which I absolutely love. And you're also going to get these kind of, it's like a dusted black. They're beautiful. Lucy has kindly shared the link as well. Uh, should I try and click on the comment? I don't know. You can see it in the comments. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to risk pressing the wrong button. Um, Lucy says she's had a sneak peek of it last night and they are so lovely. I will show you them down on the mat as well. In the rose colourway, which is just $7.99, what an absolute bargain today. You are getting these gorgeous colours. Look at them. I think this is my favourite. I might do a bit of a mix with these ones today. So you're getting these gorgeous lemony kind of creamy coloured ones and you're also getting these gorgeous rainbowy ones as well so they are two of your colours of your toho size three seed beads in your kit for that one on the rose gold and last but no means least on your silver you're getting a gorgeous gorgeous like a cayenne blue and you're also getting a very gorgeous vivid green as well so they are all your colour choices. As I say, you're getting two different colours in each of your kit and they are an amazing, amazing price. Right, let's see if I can stop sharing the screen. Hmm. It was going so well. What about this one? Yay! Okay, doing all right so far. Fingers crossed. Now, let's see if I can bring you down onto the table. Can I? Will I? Hello? <laughs> Here we go. So these are your colours. So I've made one up of each of the colours and the one next to it I've just done a lovely little sample for you. So you can see if I can hold them up. I might even be able to zoom in again. I might get a little bit extra technical. They're really, really straightforward to do. These Toho's, with them being the size three, they're a lovely size. They fit on those jump rings really easily. And we're just attaching each one with three of the little split rings. So these are your gorgeous colours. <clears throat> Lucy says the rose is her favourite. I think I'm going to demo with these ones today. As I say, I'm just deciding if I'm going to mix them up. You know me, if I've got lots of choice, then I just want it all but look how beautiful that green colour is. Can I zoom it in a little bit more? Should I risk it? Well, let, let's live adventurously today. I'm either going to go in far too close. Just like playing around with all Kitty's settings, she'll be cursing me later. There you go. It's even closer. Look at the zoom on this camera. <laughs> so absolutely beautiful, beautiful colours. And they're really straightforward to do. Elaine says Jubilee colours. Well, I haven't got a strong... Well, we did have a red colourway. But I thought, given the fact that we're going to be doing lots of Jubilee stuff, Elaine, I thought, actually, we'll leave the red, white and blue. But you could. You could use these and add in the sparkly red too. These are the colours that I've got. So this is what I'm going to make today. So, 
I mean, they're very quick to do. It might not take us very long at all. Let's see, where can I pop this? I'll just put it to the back of me. Okay, so in your kits, you're getting all sorts. You're going to get two of your magnetic clasps, which are lovely. They open really easily, and that means you can pop on your bracelets with absolute ease. And you're going to get your 10 millimeter jump rings. So in terms of size, I tend to find about 15 of these will fit my wrist, but you can just make it longer by adding more jump rings or make it smaller by taking one of them out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use two sets of my pliers and I'm just going to start opening up my jump rings. So I'm holding my pliers, am I zoomed in enough? just to get a good grip on both of them and I'm just giving it either a little twist towards me or away from me. Let's pop these out the way just so I can get a bit of focus. I promise Kitty I will be tidying your desk afterwards. I'm a lot messier than Kitty is. Kitty's much more neat than I am when she's making. So I'm just going to open up some of my jump rings so you'll find they've got a little opening at the top i'm going to position it in my pliers and just open it towards me or away from me i'm not opening it out this way because i don't want to distort those rings good morning to paulie so all i'm doing ruth what are you laughing at are you laughing at me ruth <laughs> All I'm doing is just opening them up and that way it's going to be really easy and a really quick make because I can just pick them up as I go. Kitty and I did say we'd have a little competition and a little race today to see who could do it the quickest. But I wasn't going to take that bet to be honest because obviously she's a lot more experienced than I am. So I said the only reason I would do that is if I could make one up to my size and then I don't have to do as many. Ah, Tina says it was in the Christmas kit. Uh, was that a few Christmases ago? And she loved making it and it was really straightforward. How many 10 millimeter jump rings will we need for a bracelet? I've done it with about 15, 16, Mina. So obviously you're getting loads in your pack. I think you're getting 75 pieces in your pack. You're getting your two colours of your Toho seed beads. So you're going to be able to make up at least two bracelets. If you've got any left, oh, you're laughing Ruth at me tidy in the desk. Um, if you've got any left, you can always do a little bit of a mix and a match. Should I try a mix and a match? Why not? Okay. If it's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong for me anyway, isn't it? So I might as well. <laughs> but yeah, when we have done this before, we haven't used these gorgeous large um, size three Toho seed beads before and we used I think smaller jump rings as well. So you've got your beautiful rose gold coloured jump rings in these and you've also got your matching split rings. So your split ring is a bit like a jump ring but it's just kind of coiled around that extra time. So to start off I'm going to pick up one of my jump rings which I've opened up and I'm going to pop on my first two gorgeous tohos. Straightforward as that. Let's pull these out. And then I'm going to pick up three of the split rings. And then I'm going to close over the jump ring. So I'm bringing it slightly past that point of meeting. So it will look like this. Should I try and zoom in even more? Maybe. Ooh, look. <laughs> I'm having loads of fun with this. So here you can see all I've done is I put my two little Toho seed beads on and then I've popped on three of my split rings. 
Lucy says she doesn't think she's done anything with the size three before. I think they may be new to us. Um, and Tina said, I'm glad this is the large rings and the beads. My eyes need them. Yeah, this is really straightforward to do. I'll still be fingers and thumbs and I'll probably still drop it, but there you go. So now I'm going to pick up what I've just done. I'm going to take another one of my open jump rings and I'm just going to position that through those three split rings that I've attached. So it's not going through the other jump ring, it's just going through the split rings. And then I'm going to drop it. Told you I would. Let me just get them back through so as i say you don't want it where's the camera you don't want it to go through that jump ring you just want it to go through the split rings and then i'm going to take i'm going to do a different color this time i'm going to take another two of my toe hose and i'm going to position them on either side and then i'm going to take another three of the split rings so I'm just holding them on both sides with my pliers just to pick up and then close that over. Feels a little bit different with me using different tools. They're the same tools, they're just not mine. So things feel a little bit different. And then I'm going to pick up another one of my jump rings. And again, I'm just taking that through the split rings like so and it is just that repeat so the next one I'm popping on my toe hose as I say I'm gonna I'm gonna mix the colors you get two colors in each pack so I'm gonna do a bit of both because I think these would look lovely together and then my split rings it doesn't matter which side you put the split rings on because they all come together in the middle once you've closed that jump ring over it's just, I'm making sure there's enough room so I can pop my pliers back on to close that over. So you'll find your own method in whatever you want to do. I tend to, I do pick it up and down my tools, but all I'm doing now is just putting it, that next jump ring through the split rings. So you can see it's already starting to get that little bit of length and I'll continue doing this until I've got the size that I want. And then it's just a case of adding the clasp onto it, onto each end, once I've got the length that I want. Pauline says she likes the larger beads and the jump rings too. Well, if you would like to get your hands on this kit, as I say, I'm pretty sure that this special offer discount will only be on for the weekend so get it quickly so then once i've added on my split rings i'm just closing it up you'll see sometimes i just give it a little bit of a wiggle i want to kind of feel those little ends of the jump ring rubbing together and i know it's perfectly closed so when i take my split rings down they're not going to fall off and I can just pop that next one through it. Susan says, hi Natalie, have missed you for a few weeks as I've been in hospital. Oh my goodness, she's had a burst appendix, not good when you're a pensioner. So glad to get back to your beading tutorials from Sue. Sue, we are sending you so much love. Um, your poor thing, that must have been absolutely excruciating in terms of pain. I hope you're healing up and you've been well looked after. So rest. It's great that you're back with us. Um, this might be a nice, easy project for you to, to get back into the beading with. But make sure you are fully rested and looking after yourself. So all I'm doing each time I add on my next jump ring is I'm just going to pick up the next colour. Now, on all the samples I've done, I've just used one colour. But actually, having this as a mix, I think looks really gorgeous. So, rather than making you choose a colourway, we've just made you choose the colour of the findings, whether you want to have the, the rhodium, or the rose gold, or the gold, or the champagne. Um, and we've 
kindly popped in two of your colours of your toe hose. So you don't have to choose so much and you can do what I'm doing here and have a little bit of a mix and a little bit of a match. So it's not too fiddly because you've got those larger sizes. The only thing that I've had maybe a little bit of uh, trickery with is those magnetic clasps. They are beautiful, but they do stick to your tools because obviously they're, they're metal. Um, Lucy says she likes it with both colours. Oh, Elaine says Sarah Millsop did a similar chainmail one with smaller rings. I tried but gave up. It was too fiddly. This looks like a lot easier. It really is, Elaine. Um, you know me, if it's too fiddly, I'll be like, hmm. I try and make things as easy as possible with the same beautiful look. And it's really lightweight to wear as well. So they do look gorgeous on. So adding on my three split rings. And closing up that jump ring. If it doesn't quite close, open it back up again. Give it a little bit of a wiggle. And they should just ping close together. So this is why I find it easier to have my jump rings open already. Because I'm not picking it up and putting it down as much. Oh, everyone's sending you all the best, Susan. So where are we watching from today? This is what I loved about the Bee Club last night because it's lovely seeing your comments and you're saying people are watching from New York or down south or up north or in Wales um, or in America somewhere. But I was loving being able to hear everybody's accent um, and being able to put a face to the name as well because I can see when we do our lives, I get to see your little profile picture. Um, your profile picture is not always of you. Um, it might be of, you know, grandchildren or pets or something. So it's really nice to be able to put faces to names. Um, I was very excited to see our lovely Lucy. Because we've never met in the flesh, have we, Lucy? We message each other. And we talk a lot beading. And she's always here looking after me in the live. And making sure everybody's got the links to everything that they need. But I got to see her lovely face. I was very, very giddy. Lucy's saying, don't make me blush. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you all felt in B Club last night looking at my face. Because I've been travelling since, well, I think my first train was about nine o'clock. Um... So, we were on B Club till gone nine, didn't we? So, I, I didn't look as fresh as I probably should have done. <laughs> so, get, I'm just popping on two of those toe hose so they sit on the... Let's move down a bit. So, they sit on each side of those split rings. Give it a little bit of a twist. You can hear possibly... Our oh, poor kitty in the background. She's in the other room and she's not a bit well, God love her. She's um, got a little bit of a cough and a splutter. So again, I'm just, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I'd probably end up making a necklace because I'll just forget what I'm doing and just keep going. But I tend to find about 15 or 16 fit me on my wrist nicely but again once you've done it you can just measure the size that you need it's really easy if you just want to open it up again and add more on or take some off uh, Lucy says oh yeah you did look a bit tired by the end of the night <laughs> it was lovely to meet you proper though and you my love Susan says thank you everyone for your get well wishes and being well looked after and resting. Happy beading to you all. Uh, Victoria says, cold overcast weather in Sandwell, watching but not able to bead currently. Well, hopefully you're just having a nice watch today. Um, 
Lucy said, Natalie, I think you should run the Zoom today uh, so Kitty can rest. If she's doing what she was doing last night, which I think she is, I'm going to be no help to you. They were amazing. The most beautiful pendants. Wondering if I could find one to show you. Um, but I have to go down to the warehouse and get the next load of lives planned and sorted. So I'm hoping I'll have planned by the end of the weekend all being well. I'm aiming for 29 projects, but we'll see. That'll take us up to, do you know, June, July. I tend to do, I try and plan at least two, three a week. Um, so, yeah, no rest for the wicked. Um, we'll see how she's feeling. So I'm going to just count how many I've put on so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll keep going. We'll use the rest of them. This one will just be a little bit longer. Camille says this is a nice colour mix. I love these colours together. But as I'm going to show you some of the other colours on the mat in a little while because... I say there's colours that usually I wouldn't go for, but actually when I've seen them and I've put them together, I really, really love them. So there's like a beautiful, it's like a brownish, it's like a burnt orange, Camille, you'd love it. Um, I definitely know which colourway you'll probably be going for. It's very citrusy and it's very, very pretty. Just closing that up taking the split rings only i don't want to go through that jump ring just through the split rings and as you can see it's already giving me the length that i need there so i put on those beautiful ones back to these kind of lemon chiffony kind of pearly colored ones <laughs> ruth you don't need any encouragement you you're our little minx of the group. <laughs> and Camille says, lol, you know me so well. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to show you the colours when I finish making this up. So you'll see, it's so easy to do. Um, having those size three just means everything just goes on with absolute ease. You're not having to wiggle them on. Um... And because you've got those lovely large 10 millimeter jump rings, there just seems to be plenty of space, as you can see here, around the top for me to just keep swapping my hands over when I add my split rings on. So, so far so good. I've not dropped it or pinged any across the room like I usually do when I'm using the jump rings. I'm going to pick up another. This is definitely long enough for me now. So I think we will leave it at this point. And also I've done, because I've got this amount, I've started with these gorgeous colours and I'll finish with these beautiful ones. So when I'm finishing, all I'm going to do is put the toe hose on. Where am I? I don't need to put any more of those split rings on. What I do need to do is pop on my clasp. So I'm just taking the little link on the clasp. And you've got this gorgeous rose gold coloured clasp in this kit, which matches. Making sure that's lovely and closed. And then all I'm going to do is flip it round to my starting point and find that opening in my jump ring. Open that up again. Bring my clasp round. Am I in shot? Pop that through and close it over.
Oh, Elaine says make it big enough for Kitty. I think it might be actually. So there you go. Let's go back up a little bit. Getting good at this now, aren't I? I'm going to jinx myself now. So here is your beautiful bracelet. And this is how easy it is to pop on. So this is a little bit big for me. So I think this might fit Kitty. Look at those gorgeous colours together. They're really, really very lovely. Really quick make. I think it'll probably take you about 10 minutes to do this. All I would say is just open up those jump rings first. So I absolutely love this colourway. Elaine says she loves these colours together as well. Let me show you the colours that you've got in each of your kit. So you've seen that one on the rose gold. In your champagne gold, so you're going to get your jump rings and your split rings. You're going to get two of your clasps, your magnetic clasps. And you're getting these beauties together. So if I bring these ones over, this is your bracelet with just one of those colours of your toe hose in. You can also make it with these beautiful ones. Or again, you can do a bit of a mix and a match. Uh, Camille says matches your nails too. Both you and Kitty always make things match nails. To be honest, Camille, I did them very quickly before I left just to make sure that they looked okay for today's live. But I could do with a little bit of hand cream and I never put hand cream on before the live because I've done it once and I was all fingers and thumbs. So I decided um, dry hands for the live. <laughs> so that is your gorgeous, gorgeous champagne gold colorway. Pop them back and I will show you the next one. So this is, I'm going to call it the Camille colourway. So this is your gold plated colourway. So you're getting your jump rings and your split rings. And you're getting these gorgeous beauties. Look at them. And again, you're going to get your matching clasp. So on this colourway, I love this colour. It is just beautiful. I think they look really good against the gold. So you're getting them and you're also going to get these really vibrant beautiful orange ones too and they would look gorgeous i think mixed together camille says yes lol my colors so that i think is an unexpected favorite of mine so they're your gold plated let's pop those ones away you've just seen me do the rose gold one so that's your little mix with that one. Lucy says, defo Mama Camille's colours. The silver, which is beautiful. Again, you're getting your jump rings in your 10 millimetre and your split rings too. You're also going to get your gorgeous magnetic clasp. And you're getting these beautiful green and these gorgeous cobalt blue ones as well. So that would look like this. So if you're doing all of the one colour, very, very lovely. And if you want the green, but again, they they look really bright, really colourful and lovely if you were to mix them up. So the possibilities really is that you can do it all one way or you can do a mix and a match um there's lots for you to choose from and this one i really really love sorry if you can hear my squeaking chair so this one is on your rhodium so jump rings split rings and your rhodium clasp which is all you need Joanne says she loves the cobalt blue. 
you're getting these gorgeous, gorgeous black ones. I'm going to open them up because I want to be able to show you these. Should I zoom in again? Mm. Okay. So if you can see, they've just got this gorgeous kind of matte finish to them, which I think looks beautiful against these colours of your findings. But these are possibly my favourite too. I've got loads of favourites. I don't know whether you can see the colours on this. They've got the most gorgeous sheen and they're kind of like iris green. I don't know. So they are absolutely lovely. And again, they'd look really nice mixed. Just to add a little bit of shine amongst that matte finish and give you those extra textures. So lots of lovely colour choices for you today. There's five, I think there was, and obviously you're getting two in each. So I hope you've enjoyed today's live. I know I have. Um, anytime I come, I just think I really need to to get my setup at home sorted. I want to put them all on. I've put them all away, but now I want to put them all on just to show them off. I just love how easy they are to go on. So Lucy has kindly shared the link again for you today. We are doing the chain mail bracelet. It is the Clio chain mail bracelet. And they are very, very lovely. Let me bring myself up. I'm a big, I'm a big, there I am. Uh, Joanne says, lovely tutorial, have a blessed day all. Lucy says, thank you so much for spending time with us all. Lovely creation again this morning. I've had a ball. Look at this, look at this. Is this not amazing? It's like bead in heaven, a colour of everything you could possibly choose from. This is probably one of my most favourite places in the world. People go to like a spa and things like that to relax. I just want to come in here and just play. It's like an Aladdin's cave of gorgeousness. Mina says she missed most of it. She went on a call. We'll watch again later. No problem, Mina. You can catch us on YouTube. You can catch us on Facebook. You could always watch the tutorials back. Really straightforward, easy make today. Um, I think I might keep the blue one on. Matches my top. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will see you on, I think I'm back with you on Wednesday. Um, it's Friday today, isn't it? I'm all confused. So I will be back with you, I think, on Wednesday. I can't tell you what we're doing yet. Um, so there'll be no sneaky peeks at the moment. Um, but thank you very much for joining me. I will see you then. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Camille says, enjoyed it. My kind of makes thanks. Have a lovely weekend and hope Kitty's well soon. I will pass on your well wishes to her. Um, so yes, yeah, stay safe. Lots of love and light. And I will see you next week. Bye. Oh, good morning, Edward. <laughs> Take care. Bye.